So what apps are available for writing and formatting? So we all probably know for writing, for writing, you have the word processing software and the most commonly used is probably Microsoft Word because a lot of PCs also come already with preloaded Microsoft Word. So that is why this is a predominant word processing package. But if you have written up at any time a book, a dissertation or any document which has a lot of images in it, you might have to deal with uh, the problem that Word keeps on crashing or that you have a problem that it's very slow with a lot of images. For that case, you might also have the latex option. So latex is a, uh, is a freely available uh, in a writing processing software that can handle large documents, especially importantly, it can handle specific equations also put into documents and you will have a better time writing up those equations. But it has the disadvantage that you need a bit of time in order to understand how it works, but it has a steep learning curve. You will not always be writing on your own. And this is important that you also understand what are the tools for collaborative writing that are, that are available. So a tool that you might know based on the dominance of Google in certain areas of the world is Google Docs. Google Docs is freely available and comes with a Google account and it will help you share the document with other collaborators within your team. It's possible to uh, use a standard word processor with Google Docs that will already help you with some spelling and style issues. And also with certain plugins, you will be able to reference already in Google Docs. One of these referencing tools is, let's say, Paper Pile. The important part about Google Docs is that it's free to use. Then you have other apps that might be less known in your community, but still have an option of collaborative writing. So that is Manubot. This is free, open source, uh, internet-based, and it helps you type and write in Markdown. So that is, uh, that is something that is code-based formatting and is very important for physicists, mathematicians, and computer scientists who code on a regular basis, but is less popular with other disciplines such as biology and chemistry. Also in medicine, I don't use Markdown. Uh, disadvantage of Manubot is, especially if you want to look at the documents on the go, that it cannot be used with a mobile device. But you have uh, bibliography, uh, bibliographies uh, built in this system, and you can uh, and you can reference everything by using DOIs, circumventing the typical reference managers. One of the other options is also Overleaf. However, Overleaf is, uh, comes at a cost, and the cost is $15 to $30, but it also comes with academic discount. The writing language it uses is a type and format in a latex, which means that it's also very compatible if you download it afterwards and use it in latex yourself. It cannot be used with a mobile device, and citation styles can be important from a reference managers. Once you are writing up your manuscript, it becomes also important that you have a good correction of your style and your language that you are using in the paper. So a good app that can help you with this is PaperPal. 
Paper Pal is AI based, so artificial intelligence based, and it helps you correct your language. It helps authors in uh, writing and editing and correcting language errors and suggesting enhancement to the academic text. Then you have Paper Pal Preflight, which checks authors' manuscripts again, uh, against a refined set of language and technical reporting parameters and provides authors with feedback that they can address prior to submitting it to a certain journal. It does also the language checks, so they can have a comprehensive check for grammar, for syntax, for mechanics and style, as well as word choice. So all of this is available through PaperPal and PaperPal Preflight, and will probably help you enhance the clarity of your manuscript further on. Thank <music> you.